Alright, these are the custom controllers which I've done for the Xbox. Um, the first one I'm going to do, which is a grey texture. Um, I didn't do the battery or uh, any of the bumpers or triggers. Um, I also played with uh, people who had the uh, lights installed, and that was actually quite annoying when playing with it. Next we're going to go with uh, metallic green for the ladies. Um, it's got uh, Tinkerbell and uh, Ariel, also bumpers and battery nut on. This one was actually clear coated as you can tell. Uh, there will be still pictures, you can actually see uh, the design. Uh, next I actually textured the, um, the top bumper and trigger. Uh, it's a little worn off there. Again, I will never do the battery. Um, but yeah, I also uh, clear coated this. And the next one I did, um, it's, uh, it's silver up at the top. Um, it's supposed to be like chrome, but it didn't really come out that way. Um, again, also uh, it's metallic blue with uh, clear coat. I did the uh, buttons, which actually works fine. Um, this actually worked very well for the clear coat. And uh, don't use anything that's like Rust-Oleum because it adheres horribly to the plastic and any other thing that you're going to be playing with and it'll just rub off. Automotive paint and uh, anything that adheres to it, metal and plastic, worked really well for me. But like I said, the automotive paint, you can get like Walmart or something like that, worked really well. Uh, this is the one I use mostly, simply just because it's textured, and uh, I didn't put any clear coat on this, but uh, it works really well. Alright, if you have any questions... Um, alright, also, you need a uh, T8H um, X tool, it's a security tool, to get the, uh, the screws out of the back of the controller. Also, you're going to need a lot of patience. Um, I left everything dry. <clears throat> first coat with about an hour, and then when I clear coated it, I let it sit overnight. I didn't touch it at all, and uh, that came out really well. Um, but you're gonna have cuts and bruises on the controller anyway, overuse, putting it down, anything. So uh, you know, just make sure that when you're done, you're pretty much done because you can't sand over it. You really can't. You don't want to paint over it because uh, you just don't want it to be really thick. But uh, for the most part, you know, just, just do it once and all, and uh, it should work out for you.